Iwiwahichka is known for its outstanding high school softball team, and the Gators roster is made up of athletes who have been playing the game since they were young. Many playing in the Dixie Youth Softball League, where, where several have been coached by Gary Sassnet. News 13's Emma Stamp sat down with Sassnet and tells us more about the impact he's continuing to make in Iwiwahichka. Okay. Okay, everybody come here. Everybody come here. Gary Sassnet, best known as Coach Gary, started coaching Dixie softball when his daughter wanted to pick up the sport in Port St. Joe. She showed an interest in playing, and uh, I stepped up to the plate as a daddy should and went all the way through to middle school down there. Once his daughter outgrew the league, he began coaching his nieces in Wewahichka, and he's never left the field since, impacting young athletes in Gulf County for 25 years and counting. I've enjoyed it. I've had a great ride as far as being able to coach a game of softball that I love. One player he coached more than a decade ago describes him like this. He's always a ball of energy. He's climbing fences. Um, I was a shortstop, made an excellent play one night, and he just bounced off the walls, just screaming, yelling. And the 12U team he is coaching in 2020 makes it clear he hasn't changed a bit. He's always hype about everything. He's like energetic and always bouncing off the wall. That energy hasn't faded, even though the coach is now fighting a battle off the field. They uh, diagnosed me with uh, prostate cancer. Coach Gary said he never even thought about giving up coaching when he received the diagnosis, going from his radiation treatments to the ball field. This is my place where, uh, to me, everything is, is good. All of Coach Gary's players know his goal is to win, but if they lose after playing their best, he tells them there are no losers, a mindset he's now living out in his battle with cancer. I'm going to try to be a winner in my sport and a winner in life, and I will, between me and the good Lord, 100% going to battle through it. Reporting on Weba Hitchka, Emma Stamps, News 13 Sports, Panhandle Strong.